know I love it even if I never say the word. So this is a Merc SLK engine cover. We have um little plastic buttons on the bottom that go into these that are fitted to the top of the the rocker cover. These get dry and stick to these little plastic buttons like so strong. should come out on camera right so that line there is literally it just pulled it clean out the middle of the engine cover so a bit of aluminium mesh put the plastic back into place and then just literally stitch it with a solder nine on the back of the plastic this can be done for bumpers it can be done for engine covers it can be done for pretty much most plastics this does not work on pump deuce engine covers because they're fiber some sort of weird fiber plastic and it's shit and brittle but this works on normal audi engine plastics zoom bmw this obviously being mercedes but yeah, so that's stitched in there to the point where I am actually confident enough to hit it with a hammer and it ain't gonna fucking come out. So I've got soldering iron and all I'm gonna do is just run the soldering iron along that crack. Cause I am gonna sand this down, but I wanna make sure that crack is uh, bonded on the surface. And all I'm doing is very, I'm not actually creating a channel, I'm just causing the top plastic to melt. Of course, when it melts, it expands, but it also joins together. So when I come to sand it, fingers crossed, you shouldn't really notice it. It's just a bit easier going that way. kiss on in the background you watch my video won't be allowed because it's got fucking music in it Ugh. right should be enough for the soldier nine but it takes half a flipping year to warm up so i ain't turning the back thing off it's almost cold jesus it takes seconds Ugh. Sandpaper out. Yeah. Oh, I am going to be painting this. Oh, yeah. get the sander out sand this whole thing fucking right back and then I can hide these neat little stitches paint it stick that back on it and cool see you in a bit <laughs> 